good morning or afternoon or evening or whatever time of day it is when you get to watch this. Thank you for joining us today. This week's adventure is going to be a food tasting adventure. We've been gifted some English muffins from our friends the days. Thank you so much for that. We are just looking forward to it. These English muffins are Wolferman's English muffins. We've never heard of this brand before, but our friends assure us that they're very yummy. So we are looking forward to that. And here you can see that we have six packs of English muffins and some tongs to get them out of the toaster. Let me show you what we've got. These are San Francisco style sourdough muffins. That seems like an oxymoron, doesn't it? San Francisco style English muffins. But whatever. There are four muffins in here. They're huge. We've got two packs of those. And I'm just handing off to Lisa because she's getting ready to cook one and taste it. There are some other very yummy looking ones here. Chocolate chip. Multigrain honey. Lisa's not big on multi-grain anything, so I'm thinking I may get those. That will be exciting. Then we have pumpkin spice. And the original ones. Perhaps we should have started with the original ones, but we had two packs of the sourdough, so thought we'd do that first. Piece of trivia. I'd never actually heard of English muffins until I came to this country. We'd never, I don't know if that was just me, my family never did them. I think perhaps they were more prevalent in the north of England, although of course they wouldn't be called English muffins, they'd just be called muffins. Anyway, we're looking forward to this and we'll share our adventure with you. I toasted the muffin and that was, finally got just the right amount of toasting. I had to toast it twice. I really enjoyed using these toaster tongs. <laughs> that was fun. Like I said a second ago, I had to toast it twice because I wasn't sure how long to put it in. So I put it in for my normal bagel time and it actually took a little bit longer than that. I guess because they're so thick, but I'm so excited to try them. Here's my report on the sourdough English muffin that I had for breakfast. It was good. It was a lot tastier than the regular ones that you get from the store, but I don't know if that was because it was sourdough or if it was because of the brand just being extra good. So now it's lunchtime. I'm going to try the original recipe and I made an egg and cheddar sandwich out of it. So we'll see how that goes. Good morning. It's a new day and I'm ready to try another English muffin. I figured two meals with English muffins in them yesterday was plenty, so here we go with another day and more English muffins. Oh, and I forgot I have to report back on yesterday's original recipe English muffin. It was good. It was nice. It was better than the English muffins in the store, so that's a win. Um, my personal favorite so far are the sourdough, because I just like sourdough. If you like sourdough, I think you would you would like these a lot. Uh, but the regular ones were really good too. So here is today's English muffin. I opted for the chocolate chocolate chip muffin for breakfast this morning. It smells really good. Chocolatey, yummy. I'm going to put butter and banana on top of it. So I'll let you know how that is. I'm excited. And just like that, it's time for another meal. Well, actually it's been a couple days. I got tired of eating English muffins all the time. Um, so now we're back at it with today's muffin, which is pumpkin spice. Doesn't that sound exciting? But before I eat my pumpkin spice muffin, I wanted to let you know that the chocolate chip muffin was good. 
the flavor was light. It smelled stronger than it tasted, which smelled wonderful. Wonderfully chocolatey. The chocolate chips in it were definitely a highlight. That was the most chocolatey part of it when I was eating it. But it was nice. So I'm excited to try my pumpkin spice muffin today and report back. I've been waiting all week to have a muffin. Um, being a lover of all things chocolate, I picked chocolate chocolate chip muffins for breakfast. Uh, we've kept these in the refrigerator all week and they've kept very well. The inside was, was nice and moist and um, tender. It was good on the inside. The outside I felt was a little overcooked. Can you see this? It just looks kind of dark. So by the time I toasted it, it was a little on the burnt side. When we were growing up, my brother used to love burnt toast, so he probably would love these, but me, not so much. So I would give these a 3 out of 5. I think if initially they hadn't been cooked quite so much, it would be better, and I would have liked it better. It was good, but if it was like this every time, I don't think I'd eat any more. And I'm going to have the last one. This is multi-grain honey. It's the last one to try. So I'm kind of excited to try it. The pumpkin spice was nice. Oh, that rhymed. That was not intended. Um, I liked how cozy and warm it felt, and it didn't um, really have an overly strong pumpkin spice flavor but it was nice. It was like subtle, but I really enjoyed it. So, say goodbye, Mom. Goodbye, Mom. <laughs> Thanks for joining us and today. I'll check in again later with my verdict on the multigrain honey, which I am going to eat with honey. I had a lot of fun trying all of those English muffins. The multigrain honey that I had this morning was good. I, but it needed some sweetness so I actually put some honey on it and that worked really well. I really liked it with the honey. When I went into trying all of these English muffins I fully expected that sourdough and chocolate chip would be my favorites because I'm a chocolate person and I love sourdough. Well sourdough was definitely a winner. That was my favorite savory but chocolate chip did not win out. For chocolate lovers that was not, it did not hit the spot. My favorite one surprisingly was pumpkin spice. I'm not a humongous pumpkin spice person, but that was such a cozy, warm, happy English muffin. I really liked it. So that was surprising. Um, overall, we, I had all of them. My mom didn't try all of them yet, but the ones she tried, we thought they were a lot of fun to try. Definitely better than store-bought muffins. So if you are a huge fan of English muffins and you eat them all the time, we definitely recommend Wolferman's. But if you're just like us and you just eat English muffins every so often, yeah, maybe they're a bit too expensive for you. But it definitely was fun to try. And I want to say thank you again to our friends for gifting them to us. It was so fun and we, well I had all of them, so I thoroughly enjoyed the experience and we're looking forward to eating the rest of them. Yay, thank you again.